Hey guys, this is Sasha and welcome to week 11 bump day. OMG, 11 weeks in. In fact, today I am actually 11 weeks and three days and a lot has happened this week. And just in case you've never watched my videos, right now these are secret bump dates. Um, I have not publicized that I am pregnant because I have experienced a loss. If you look at the title, um, this is a bump date after uh, stillbirth slash infant loss. And so I haven't publicized that I'm pregnant because after a loss, you, you just... Oh. It's so much going on, but I wanted to record this because I know how helpful it was watching other people who had um, lost a child and documented their following pregnancy, especially um, those who lost their first child. I found it to be very beneficial because it's such a taboo topic. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. All right, so the first thing that we're talking about is fetal development. So this week, baby is over two inches from crown to rump. Very excited about that. He or she is growing, so that's cool. Um, and also, on my app, I use the Ovia Pregnancy app. They say the baby is the size of a poker chip, but if you use other apps, they'll compare it to the size of a fig. And I think a lot of people like food versus like inanimate objects like a poker chip so anyway baby is getting bigger so that is very exciting as far as physically what is going on with me my acne is starting to come back so in terms of my weekly prediction i still think girl um even though i took another <laughs> i took another um baking soda test but then I read you know reading is so important to do I read and it actually says you're supposed to do it with first morning urine which I have not I did it with afternoon urine so it said like do it in the morning first thing and that will be more accurate so when I have done it in the morning I've done it three times I know that's too much but um, when I did do it in the morning it stated girl Oh, excuse me. Sorry. And that's another symptom like physically a lot of gassiness like burping, need to keep Tums with me, um, gas. I know that's a little TMI, but it's very difficult to like try to keep it under wraps because um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I'm a high school math teacher. And so like because nobody knows Oh, you really got to watch that because you can get talked about pretty bad, especially if it's stinky gas. But thank God it's never stinky gas. It's just more like uncomfortable. And if you hold it in trying to be discreet and wait until like it's passing period or while I'm on my break, uh, you can cramp really bad, which I am not a fan of. Uh, another TMI symptom is slight constipation pains, which is why I try to increase my fiber, eat fruit, eat more uh, like green leafy vegetables, uh, collard greens, salads. Uh, we had taco salad with a lot of uh, vegetables added into it just to really help aid in my digestion, give me more fiber, and keep me as regulated as possible. And I actually am taking figs when my husband gets them and they look like giant raisins and I think I might have mentioned it last week and I'll take like two as needed because I don't ever want to feel the constipation I pain I felt with my first daughter um Shalea it was horrible to the point I thought I was having a miscarriage so that is mainly what's going on with me physically still tired still have to nap still easily getting eight nine hours of sleep sometimes more because i am tired i have to i'm tired because it's the end of the year i'm burnt out i have things to do and i just need to lay down i am still very uncomfortable when i lay down and i try to remind myself to sleep on the left side because that is the preferred side when you are pregnant versus the right um 
and I forgot exactly why, but it is medically recommended for you to sleep more on the left versus the right. You can always Google it and check with your physician, but uh, I know a lot of times it is suggested for you not to lay on your back. You can lay on your stomach when you're not too far along, but I don't do that as well. Um, I really try to uh, lay on my right side if I'm sitting up and then if I'm laying down, I will um, definitely try to remind myself to be on my left side. So that's what's going on in terms of me physically. I might have to get a pregnancy pillow, um, but again, all that stuff. We'll see. I'm trying not to spend too much money and just see if I can work it out. But you never know. It's one of those things where it's too much time left like easily 27 more weeks that's a long time to be uncomfortable so we'll see within the next few weeks if i invest in a pregnancy pillow or not so best moment of the week would definitely be the fact that my doppler came i was so excited in fact I'm going to have a whole separate video um, about my Doppler and I got it. It is a um, Sonaline B by Contec. I think I'm saying it right. And it came and I've been mentioning the last couple weeks about the shipping issues and all that fun jazz. But it finally came. I try and I got a lot of sounds, but I don't think that I found the heartbeat. But, and I'll get to that when I get to the emotional part of it. And I also got, cause it came in with a little tube, but I also went to the store and purchased some aloe gel, which you can use. It was only two bucks at Dollar General, which is perfectly fine um, as a gel to use for the machine. But I did research online in a lot of the pregnancy support groups. And a lot of women say, don't expect to be able to find it consistently and get a good heart rate off these, especially depending on the strength that you got. Of course, the more expensive ones are better, but most people don't find it. You can find it as early as nine weeks, but a lot of people on average don't find it until um, around the second trimester, so 13 or 14. So that was reassuring. Um, rolling right into emotional, which will go in with this <sighs> Doppler. I was very emotional since last week was Mother's Day. I just, I was emotional when I didn't get the Doppler. Um, I had a full out anxiety attack. I just felt like something was wrong. Even though there, I've had no spotting, no cramping, no sign of anything being wrong. And then of course, on my YouTube mini feed, it was like a missed miscarriage uh, that was coming up where people were miscarrying at 11 weeks. And it just like completely got into my head. But they had had signs like previously. It was like some spotting. They weren't feeling right. They had had a previous ultrasound, which I haven't had any ultrasounds. But um, people just knew like their levels weren't high enough. They were being monitored. They had had a you know, history of miscarriages and things before. Um, but I just have not been able to shake it. Um, so emotionally, I'm, I'm still crying uh, a lot. Um, I don't mean to cry. I'm just, my anxiety is just really through the roof right now. Um, so yeah, I'm trying not to cry as I talk about it right now, but I'll feel much better. I would have felt much better if I was able to find the heartbeat. Um, but I do go to the doctor this week on Wednesday, and so... I will be able to go to the doctor, get my full workup, and he'll be able to get the baby's heartbeat. I'm hoping and praying like, I pray this every day, like God, please just bless this child. I feel like my daughter paved the way for this child already in her passing. And I just want some natural reassurance, but spiritually, like I feel like God will let me know and I have been having some crazy nightmares, but I don't put too much stock into dreams um, unless it's some like 
if it's a dream that really like hits me emotionally, sorry if you can hear background noise, Hubs is cooking dinner. But if it's a dream that like really emotionally touches me, like where I wake up crying or I really just can't go back to sleep, I take more precedent than that. But if it's just a dream, it's just like a crazy dream, I just pray and my God takes care of it and then I just call it a day. So I don't have any like reservations other than the fact that I kind of guess I want what I want. And I see that some people are deemed high risk, but there was no known cause of why my daughter passed. So I'm not high risk at this point. They're just extra precautionary. And it was my choice to wait this long. So I guess it kind of backfired in a way because I could have went in a little bit sooner, but I chose to wait. And now I kind of wish that I wouldn't. So you get what you get, but I only have a few more days that I just got to work through it and then hopefully I'll get an excellent report and I'll be back next week to tell you, you know, the baby's heartbeat was like 172 and he thinks it's a girl and I think it's a girl because he thought it was a girl last time and then we ended up having Shalea. So pretty accurate. So that's what's going on in terms of emotionally. Um, and it'll get better. Of course, I journal. I love journaling. Uh, I continue to go to my individual counseling and my grief group counseling, which both have been beneficial. I still not told them, but I'm hoping to tell them tomorrow. And I'm very nervous about that. That's a whole another separate video, as I mentioned last week, about if you've had a loss, just how to tell people in general. Oh my gosh, like I'm trying not to think about that because I just don't want anybody to be offended or hurt and like emotionally. It's difficult, but the counselors are super supportive and behind me and I'm really thankful and other people in the group have been pregnant and stayed in the group because just because you're pregnant again doesn't mean you stop grieving your child. I feel like I, it's so important to say that because some folks, you know, I watched a video the other day and it wasn't any shade. Um, they only counted their living children. And I remember watching the video when their first child died of stillbirth and they counted it as their children. But I guess when time passed, they just stopped including that child in the number. And it just devastated me because in my mind, I have two children and we would have a third or a fourth or whatever happens. But at this point, I have Shalea and I have this baby. So I'm a mom of two. They might not both be living, but I guess emotionally, um, it just saddens me when people stop acknowledging the child that passed. So I don't know. I've just really been in my feelings this week. So that's that's just been my emotional struggle but it's getting better the day is good it's sunday got a chance to relax and, and all that stuff and listen to the word i know everybody's not spiritual but it definitely has helped me with everything that is going on um and i already mentioned that i have my doctor's appointment coming up i'm hoping that at that appointment i will be able to set up my ultrasound appointment and i'm also excited it's like two more videos and then i'll be able to start posting these so i literally only have today's video next and then two more weeks after that of posting and then i can i already have these videos like set they're on youtube they're just not published and i am so excited to be able to share all this stuff with you guys and you be able to be with me and journey in real time so please don't be offended that you're seeing these late I just I needed to get through this first trimester and kind of like get my gripping on things and stuff like that so yeah that's what's going on I don't have any baby buys I just received my Doppler um, and I'm kind of like postponing getting stuff until Wednesday comes and I can just feel more reassured and all that fun stuff I am excited been some babies born, some BFPs, and TTCers that have got new attitudes in terms of like they're coming up with all new things to do, which is really cool. I, I love to see that because you can never 
you know, you can always reinvent the wheel, you know, you do whatever you got to do when you're TTC and, and sometimes it gets stressful. Like I'm a person who like has limited amount of patience, but I love to see like people changing their eating and their lifestyle and then their partners are jumping on board. I love watching stuff like that. So people are like, oh, you know, a, a question that I would not be shocked if I got is do you still watch TTC videos? Absolutely, because I've been a TTC -er more than once and it is very difficult and I know people who are trying to conceive. So just because I'm pregnant does not mean that I don't still support uh, other people as I hope that they will support me. Um, so I definitely believe in building a community and really just trying to make sure that you support one another because the whole journey, life, infertility, trying, baby, loss, postpartum, all that incorporates a lot. And your job is never done. Like you just go from one phase to another. And you know, some phases you're in longer than others. And so I believe you just have to support one another if that makes sense. So anyway, I know it's been long. I'm sorry. I just got so into my feelings and things like that and I really enjoy talking to you all you are such a great support you're so understanding um, I always say thank you to my new subscribers because even if it's only one I'm appreciative of that one um, it does not take a million people to start a movement it literally just takes one so when I see one person at it I'm very excited and very blessed uh, that you chose to follow me on this journey um, and I always hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. I'm going to show the belly shot at the end and I will see you in the next bump date. Bye. So this is belly from the front. I do not be deceived. I'm wearing black. When I turn to the side, you will easily be able to see the bump. And I'm wearing maternity pants. I forgot to mention that, but that's definitely bumping. Bumping very nicely um, for 11 weeks. I don't feel like I'm huge, but I do feel like I'm a nice little decent size. And heartbreaking to me, it turned out to be really good. I have my daughters around with me all day, um, with me when we went to the zoo, when we went to my mom's grave site. Um, she was with me at breakfast like she's just been with me all day and it's really made me feel like a mother on this day and I